have understood ABO blood group system and RH blood group system in previous video lectures. We also saw that on the basis of these two blood group systems, humans have eight blood types. In today's video lecture, we will explain blood typing or blood group test. Blood typing refers to the test to determine the blood group of a person. This test is based on agglutination reaction. Recall that agglutination reaction is an antigen-antibody reaction in which antibodies cross-link particulate antigens resulting in the visible clumping of particles. Agglutination of red blood cells is known as hemagglutination. In Greek hyma means blood. So, hemagglutination is the clumping of red blood cells. The target antigens in this case are present on red blood cells. When specific antibodies to these antigens are added, the antigen-antibody reaction results in agglutination which is visible as red granules. Suppose, we have an individual with blood group A. That means his RBCs have A antigens on their cell membrane. We put few drops of blood from this person on a glass slide and then add anti-A antibodies. We will mix them. After some time red granules are visible like this. These granules are the result of clumping of RBCs. Let's now understand how blood typing is done. For this test, we will require few drops of blood from a person whose blood group is to be determined. We know that blood will contain the target antigens on RBCs. These target antigens are A antigen, B antigen and RH antigen. We will detect the presence and absence of these antigens in blood and determine the blood type. Next we will need antibodies specific to these red blood cell antigens. So, here we have three reagents labeled, anti-A, anti-B and anti-RH. Reagent labeled anti-A contain antibodies against A antigens. Similarly, anti-B reagent contain antibodies against B antigens. Reagent labeled anti-RH contain antibodies against RH antigen. We will take a clean glass light and mark three circles. Label them as anti-A, anti-B and anti-RH. We will put a drop of each reagent in the respective labeled circle. Next we will add 1 to 2 drops of blood in each circle. We will mix the reagent in the blood and observe the slide after some time. Agglutination that is, visible red granules will confirm the presence of antigens. No agglutination means the antigen specific to the target antibody is absent. Let's look at the possible observations and their interpretations. Here you can see agglutination in anti-A circle and anti-RH circle. This means, antigens present on red blood cells are A antigen and RH antigen. No agglutination in anti-B circle. Therefore, B antigen is absent. So, blood group is A positive. Recall that, plus sign indicates the presence of RH antigen. Here, agglutination is observed only in anti-A circle. This means antigen A is present on RBCs. No agglutination in anti-B and anti-RH circle. So, B antigen and RH antigen are absent. Therefore, blood group will be A negative. Recall that, minus sign indicates that RH antigen is absent. Here, no agglutination in anti-A circle. So, antigen A is absent. B and RH antigens are present since agglutination is observed in anti-B and anti-RH circles. So, blood group will be B positive. Here, 
antigen A and Rh antigens are absent since there is no agglutination in anti-A and anti-Rh circles. Agglutination in anti-B circle indicate presence of B antigen. So, blood group is B negative. Here, agglutination is observed in all three circles. This means, all three antigens are present. Therefore, blood group is AB positive. Here agglutination in anti-A and anti-B circle indicates that both antigen A and B are present. But there is no agglutination in anti-RH circle which indicates absence of RH antigen. Therefore, blood group is AB negative. Here, no agglutination is observed in anti-A and anti-B circle, therefore both A and B antigens are absent. Agglutination in anti-RH circle indicates presence of RH antigen. Therefore, blood group is O positive. Here, agglutination is absent in all the circles. This means, all the three antigens are absent on the RBCs. Therefore, blood group will be O negative. Blood typing is used to determine the blood group of donor and recipient prior to transfusion. Also, it is used to determine blood group of mother-to-be. Why blood typing in these cases is important. What are the consequences of non-compatible blood transfusion? All these questions will be answered in the next video lecture.